Now, I feel like I know Calvin pretty well by this point. When I put together Performers of the Week, I try and envision how he's going to react to my choices. This might be your favorite Performer of the Week segment yet. I'm going to tee it up that way. Okay. All right, you ready to see it? Yeah. Well, let's start with a school that's been a Performer of the Week factory for us over the years, Hilton Head Christian Academy. But it's not Speedy Robinson, it's not Jace Blackshear or Jackson Lanier. No, it's Riley Shin. Two interceptions returned for touchdowns in the Eagles' 47-0 victory against Carolina Academy. And this is not the first time we've seen him do this. Shin also had an INT return for TD against Ooh. Buford Academy on his birthday to help the Eagles clinch the region championship. This guy's a thief in the night. He's going to hate me for bringing up his brother, but this is not the last, first time we've heard Shin in our performances of the week. Hayden used to be the quarterback mm. at Hilton Head Christian before J.P. Peduzzi. I'd love to see younger brother try and pick off older brother. That would be, be something. But, I mean, we hear about the junkyard dogs at Hilton Head Christian, and you think about Jackson Lanier, the linebackers, the defensive line that just muck it up. The fact that they got dudes in the secondary now making plays, as if Jace Blackshear and that offense needed any more help, you have Shin returning TDs and setting the offense yeah, up. Yeah, so many opportunities because of what the front seven does, and he takes advantage.